friends, it's Janice Baylor back with you again in my studio for another fun drop-in art session. Again, I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors for continuing to bring us drop-in art online. Today, we are going to make a really fun, very summer-inspired butterfly pop-up card. So if you would like to join me to make this project, stay tuned. All the supplies are coming right up. For today's project, you will need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a marker, perhaps some little scraps of paper, a large selection of colorful cardstock. To get started, you want to take your background piece of cardstock and fold it in half with the shortest sides touching to make a card. Hold them together at this end and then smoothen down and create a nice strong crease, which will be the opening of your card. And now we're going to make our butterfly. So to do that, choose one of your colorful pieces of paper. I'm going to go with orange and I'm going to fold that one in half too. And you don't need to bring the ends together, but we do want a crease area. And then I find that the best way to get the fold of the butterfly or to get the shape of the butterfly because we need to create a large scallop is to pretend that I'm going to make a heart and then add an extra bump down at the bottom. And we do want this to be smaller than our card base so that we have a little bit of background area on our card, okay? So you don't wanna bring that one the whole way to the bottom. But create your scallop any way you want, and that is going to be our butterfly body. And then go ahead and cut that out, but do not cut the fold. So we want the fold to be intact. And it might be better if you do this part with an eraser so you can choose to erase your lines. But I already did it in pen, so I'm just gonna roll with it. And then, that is your butterfly's body. So it'll be okay, I'll just cut that down there. And I actually want to bring my wings in a little bit more. So now that I've opened it up, I think I'm going to cut in and change that kind of slope. So I'm gonna make it a little bit sharper, which I can do by just going in and recutting. So don't be afraid to modify your design if you're not quite happy with what you created. And I think I might change it at the top here a little bit too. There we go. That's looking a little bit more butterfly-ish to me. And then I am going to leave my fold and go ahead and stick that to my card base, kind of a little bit angled. Okay, so my card will open this way and my butterfly is here. So I'm going to glue that down. just that one side. So I'm going to leave this part be open. Okay, and that's what creates the pop-up. Now we need to create a body for our butterfly. So I'm going to choose a different piece of paper and cut approximately one inch strip. You can measure or you can just eyeball it. And we are going to take that strip and use our finger or roll it around your glue stick to create a little roll that kind of looks like the antennae of your butterfly. And you can roll that a little tighter if you want a little tighter spiral. And just kind of play with it till you like what you have. And I'm going to cut a little pointy end or a little kind of rounded point for the bottom of my butterfly's body. And then line that up with your fold of your card and your butterfly and glue that in place. So there we have our butterfly body. And then if you want to, you can draw a little face on your butterfly, make a little happy butterfly. 
if you want to. That's totally up to you. And then we can add some additional details. So that's where your little scraps of paper might come in, or you can add, um, use markers or crayons to color. I think I'm going to use a piece of my blue paper and add a cloud to my background. So I will just take a little piece of paper and just kind of freehand a cloud shape, which is really just a few scallops with a flat bottom. Okay. And then that could be a great place to stick a message for someone. Look, my butterfly is flying through the cloud. Very cute, right? So I will glue that in place. And you could add flowers at the bottom. You could draw a sunshine uh, or a rainbow or really anything you would like to decorate your card. And you can add some additional details to your butterfly by cutting up more pieces of paper. So I'll just make a little freehand shape. And I folded that paper in half so that I'm getting two of the same thing. And then I will just glue them in place in roughly the same spot. So I will glue one here so that when my butterfly is open, you get that symmetry that butterflies are famous for. So that means it's, same, it's the same on one side as it is on the other side. So then when it's popped open, you can see both. And then let's do another one for another part. So we can use another piece of paper and just cut another freehand shape. So it can just be fun and however you want to personalize your butterfly, either by coloring it or adding additional paper is completely up to you, or you can just keep it simple, and that's pretty too. So that's kind of the fun of being the artist. You get to decide how you like it. Okay, so there I have that. And let's add one more piece down at the bottom. And I'll do that in the purple. And then on the exterior or interior, you can write any message you want to family and friends and send your lovely little pop-up butterfly card. Thank you for joining me today, friends. Stay creative.